Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Nuke. Today we're back with another video. Um, it's not gonna be a set of video today. We're gonna be talking about how I got tactical rifles, gold and diamond. Now, I know this probably seems like an extremely pointless video because like, who the hell needs help getting tactical rifles done as OP and as like strong as they are in this game? So I completely understand um, your skepticism <laughs> on this video and why I'm even making it in the first place. But I have done it for the previous two classes, and I'm all about consistency consistency so i'm like i might as well go ahead and do it so here we are um also i'm gonna be showing the diamond um camo on the guns of course and just basically going through you know what i did in order to make the process as fast as possible of course disclaimer the fastest way possible to get camos on guns is hardcore like everybody knows that it's just I've said this before for me it's uh, all about a satisfactory type of thing it's not satisfying to get done get uh, get done blah, 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 get things done um in hardcore because it's like uh i'm all about the journey on getting the camos done and i feel like i'm probably accomplished something more by doing everything in court so just bear with me on that so for my people who uh can't handle core this probably is the video for you and if you just you know opt out to go to hardcore you know hold no hard feelings but for my other people that still play core and like to get their camos done in core for the challenge definitely stick around and uh watch the video so all right so here we have the type 63 i really like this gun aside from the dmr um the dmr is a better version of the type i will say that I, but i really do uh like the type looks really clean too um so what i basically did to get my camos gold and you know diamond overall of course um i played a lot of raid okay this map is exceptionally good for uh tactical rifles especially if you like running around with them instead of playing nuketown i know a lot of people get burnt out on nuketown and trust and believe me the amount of nuketown that i've played will have you burnt the hell out dude and it gets really frustrating especially with skill-based matchmaking the way some people play the way people sit in corners with shotguns on stairs and the windows you know people camping back in corners with lmg you know the whole nine yards but this this map will give you that wiggle room to not be able to have to deal with those types of players too much because of course you have, you know, certain spots like this window, you got laundry, you know, window, you got uh, this little dickery do spot right here. Why, why did I say dickery do? Um, of course you got right here. Where else? You got the little spot right there. Then of course you got window up here, right? Um, and those are basically like all the big uh, camping spots. There really aren't any more of the camping spots I know on this map that are too, you know, annoying to deal with. But needs to say, um, I try to stick to just uh, playing domination in hardpoint. If I can avoid kill confirmed and TDM, I do. Just, just simply because for one, um, TDM and kill confirm have really sporadic spawns, okay? It's really hard to control uh, spawns and kill confirm and TDM. And when it comes to you getting diamond camos or gold camos, you wanna always have as much control over every game that you play. And it's really easy to have control over the games of, uh, game modes like domination and hardpoint. Simply just because if you're controlling rotations like on hardpoint, uh, it's easy to control spawns you can really predict where people are coming from and you don't really have to you know worry about oh like oh am i gonna get shot in the back right here or am i gonna um like where where are people you can pretty much kind of pinpoint where people are if you play a lot of hard point and you understand rotations on certain maps especially in maps like raid where uh, you know competitive call of duty is very 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 good <laughs> on his map as far as like respawn and uh and S D of course with game modes like domination you know of course you don't necessarily have to push up you know you can cap b you can hold mid down um and basically control from your spawn all the way up to mid don't have to worry about um people behind you now of course 
this is easier said than done, right? I know a lot of people don't, they don't have like a lot of people to play with. Uh, some people don't have full teams to, you know, queue into a lobby with every day, all day, which is understandable. So sometimes you are going to have to deal with those randoms that literally don't know sack of shit of what they're doing, like at all. Like, I, like I've had plenty of times where, you know, I'm trying to get long shots or, you know, I'm on the, I'm like close to a bloodthirsty or something and I get flanked from like right here. And, you know, I'm sitting right here trying to hold down B flag. You, you know, it, there's just so many, you know, different variables when it comes to domination and, and hard point too. Okay. It, hard point and domination period. You know, it, it's good to have you at least three friends with you. You know what I'm saying? The other two randoms really won't matter as long as you got three solid other friends uh, along with you that really know what they're doing and you should be, you should be fine. Now, if we're talking about specific challenges for the tactical rifles. They're just the same basic challenges that you have to do for like ARs and SMGs, even though SMGs have point blanks, ARs don't. You don't have point blanks for tactical rifles, of course, because why would you need point blanks for tactical rifles? Um, I, I don't see any of those challenges being difficult by any means, but especially the way tactical rifles are built in this game. Like I said, they're extremely powerful, extremely OP if you put them in the right and wrong hands, if I'm being honest. Um, but if we go down the lines, we're talking about like flat out, like we're going down the list of challenges, you know, the first challenge is of course is get overall kills in the game, which is the easiest thing you could possibly do. Um, I forget what the second challenge is. Oh, headshots, headshots are a cinch for these damn things. You, you'd you be one bursting people everywhere, probably making people extremely mad while you're playing. So headshots aren't a problem for tactical rifle. Super easy to get done. Um, what else bloodthirsties bloodthirsty shouldn't be a problem like i said the only time where bloodthirsties get hard is when you're like playing against maybe a team that's more sweaty than you and you're like solo queuing and you have randoms that don't really know what they're doing that's the only time where a challenge like that might be frustrating even if you are using tactical rifles but you know just try to hold your own as best as you can and you know get them done uh like i said there's plenty of camp spots that you use i don't really condone ca i hate camping i hate when i get camped against but if you're getting your camos done do what you got to do get them done with and you know go ahead and like start running around the map because you're, you're gonna piss people off um but if that's your sole purpose of playing this game then by all means do you just know that you're gonna get a lot of words said towards you uh in this game uh so yeah we're talking about bloodthirsties yeah bloodthirsties are uh like i said it, it's a it's a hit or miss with those long shots not hard at all these things are really powerful from f even from range you know what i'm saying the, the, these things hit extremely hard no matter what range they're at so you trust me you won't have a problem trying to get those done um enemies behind cover i feel like are the only ones that people may struggle with a little bit and these are typically the ones where you probably want to out camp the camper if that makes sense and that's another reason why i say the raid map is probably better for you getting uh tactical rifles done because on nuketown there aren't many spots where you can get the kills for uh enemy behind cover but as far as this map you know what i'm saying you have this spot you have the spot over here on the right side which is in that room up there uh to kill people behind and you also have this head glitch over here that actually counts as well and i believe yeah like that window and that window right there and i'm not sure i believe this also counts too so sometimes you know in hard point like i said this is also a great spot to get those done especially on hard point because you'll have people rotating around uh right here in this area and i don't know if these count I never really checked after a game, like tested this theory out, whether or not if these count as killing pe people behind enemy cover or whatever. So it may or may not count. You, you'd probably have to see that for yourself and probably get back to me and let me know in the comments. Uh, and the last one I believe would be enemy detected. No, not enemy detected, double kills and enemy detected. Uh, enemy detected kills are super easy. Like I said, just run UAV. Um, or jammer or field mic if you're running jammer and field mic you'll pretty much get that done really really fast uh i don't think 
doing that on this map specifically is the best option newtown would probably be a better option as you can get way more kills way faster and you'd get more value out of uh, your field mics and jammers on um on newtown just simply because this map is like way larger than newtown so you're not always going to have people within the vicinity of your field mics or your jammers at all times especially if you're controlling spawns a certain way and if you put like a jammer in somebody's spawn <laughs> they're obviously going to be you know looking for it and hunting it down so it really wouldn't do much on this map but for some reason jammers on newtown don't really get hunted down that much people just like let them be maybe just because you know the spy craft Perk, of course you know it you know lets you walk through jammers and not be affected by them at all even though that little space on the map you still can't see because of course you have to know that the jammer is still in full effect anyway uh but it's that's pretty much you know the gist of getting these things done like i said these guns aren't really hard they're super super you know nice in this game they're pretty much the meta in cold war right now as far as use i would say the only other metal weapons in this game right now that people use the most would be the ak-74u the stoner and the uzi i might see i've seen sprinkles of like the mp5 and uh the xm4 surprisingly uh around the game a lot so that's good to see but you mostly just see tactical rifle stoner and uh ak-74u that's all the advice i got for you you know uh hopefully this helps if it you, if you needed help in the first place uh thank you all for watching uh so without further ado drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it hit that subscribe button for more explosive content and as always i'll see you guys in the next one all right peace